The employee board view might just be one of the coolest features in TPS Cloud Access. Workflow for employees is now broken down into the tasks related to each of the firm's events they have coming due for a client. That's really cool to see on a calendar and can be managed easily on the grid view, but there's just something very comfortable about this new board view. First of all, it's not really date-based. You're not seeing everything that you as an employee are responsible for for the entire month. You can, but you'll typically want to break it down into what you have going on this week or for a specific time frame using the date range filter here. Here, you can choose to see past incomplete tasks or incomplete tasks that are only for the current date filter. And you can pull up tasks for a specific client. And of course, we have the reload or refresh button. You can kind of think of this as almost like a pin board. You start out with all your pending tasks over here on the left. And let's open up these two columns here. When you click on any of your pending tasks, let's just click on this one here for Audio King. You can see if it's ready to be worked on. In this case, this one is not ready to be worked on. The e-file event, however, is. So right here on the employee edit screen, you could add time. If you've worked on it, you can start the timer and start doing your work on it. Basically all the same info and abilities you'd have if you clicked on a task on your employee calendar or grid view. If you've tried to work on a task, but maybe you need some info from the client, so they're going to send over a document, which means you have to temporarily put a pause on your work. You could grab that task and bring it over here to waiting on documents. If you're waiting for some other reason, you could bring it over here. If you're in the process of working on it, you could drag it over to the in progress column. And then when you're finished, if you grab it and drag it over to the done column, it will automatically put in a completion date marking it as complete. So for example, this e-file task for computer lease and rental, you can see that right now it's not completed. There is no completion date in here. So again, depending on if you're waiting on any information, you could bring it over here, but let's say that we are ready to work on it. We're going to drag it over to the in progress column. We click on it, click here to add some time for it. Let's do three hours with whatever work code you're supposed to use. You can add to the description if you want, but I'll go ahead and save this. Maybe you have to work on it a couple more times and add time, or you want to use the start timer, however you need to work on this. You can see that time entry is here that I put in, just like if you were editing this out on the employee calendar or grid view. And let's say that you've entered all the time that you have for this. You want to drag it over to done. And that's it. It's now part of your complete list. If I click on it from here, you can see that now the completed date has been put in automatically. I didn't have to go in and mark it as complete. As soon as I dragged it to that column, it is marked as complete. So if you're anything like me, I'm a very checklist kind of person. I like seeing what I've completed and knocked off my list of things to do. It's kind of neat that you have this done column where you can see all the tasks that you've completed. And I think that covers it for the employee board view. Thanks for watching.